Hey everybody, Joe D'Agostino here again. Um, I've been holding off on this for a little bit of time. I was shooting a few rolls of uh, Ektar 100. Um, I'm in love with this film stock. I think it's an amazing film stock. Um, a lot of people shoot it. Uh, I think sometimes it has some misconceptions about um, when you can and can't use it as far as um, skin tones are concerned. Um, but I found it amazing, especially when you're dealing with um, really, really bright summer days um, when, you know, you have a lot of light, strong sunlight, uh, particularly um, at the beach and things like that where uh, you're going to get blues and different tones of, uh, you know, greens and blues um, along with the harsh sun and uh, the white sand on beaches. It's an amazing film stock. Um, it's fast. It's you're at 100. I always recommend shooting it at box speed. I wouldn't um, overexpose Ektar. Um, I wouldn't underexpose it either because you'll um, definitely show more pronouncement with the reds um, as far as skin tones are concerned in the shadows. But really, I just wanted to discuss it with you. I kind of wanted to just show you like a fun family day. Um, I went out with my family, my daughter, my wife, and uh, our two nieces. Uh, this was the last day of summer. Uh, so basically a few pictures of our day at the beach. And just like uh, film, you know, 36 images, unless you're blowing them off, you know, you're going to have some left over. So what I ended up doing is taking the uh, Nikon F3 back out again um, in the afternoon. Uh, I'm sorry, not that afternoon. I think it was later on the next day uh, around the evening time, um, golden hour, 5, 6 o'clock p.m. It was just me and my daughter up on the beach, and it was just a fantastic day and just really got to blow off a few uh, last images there. So I kind of just wanted to uh, show that um, as well. And it, again, these are just family photos. There's nothing amazing about them, but uh, it's just uh, bringing some more um, light to this film stock and, and when you know you can shoot it and the results that you can get with it. So I'm going to do a uh, screen capture and uh, show you in a second. But real quick, um, the amazing Nikon F3. This is what we were using. Um, I have the uh, this is the uh, 50 millimeter 1.4. Uh, obviously, an all manual focus camera, old film camera. But this uh, all the images that you see um, will be from the Nikon F3. Um, this is the uh, Hyperion cord strap. I love these straps. I always talk about them. I use them for everything. But um, check those out too if you get a chance. Perfect for you know, cameras like this and whatnot, but let's do a screen capture here. I, you know, I'm going to be directing my attention towards the screen that's directly in front of me, but just kind of discussing my day and uh, what we did. So I'm going to start this capture and let's go to, um, where can we go here? I want to go to previews and let's go to, um, start the slideshow all right so right now this is uh our three girls right here this is my daughter on the uh whoop. i want to do this one at a time this is my daughter here on the right um this is my uh oldest niece riley this is my daughter savannah and this is my other uh niece mckenna who's the same age as my daughter uh, savannah but this is again just day at the beach um and we're shooting at box speed here. Um, I believe I'm almost wide open at 1.4. And again, you can see skin tones um, are pretty, pretty accurate here. Uh, a little bit of, uh, you're seeing a little bit of a color shift around green and the dark shadow areas of like hair and whatnot. Um, and again, on my daughter's face right around here, you can see a little bit of red. Uh, pronouncing around the knees um, here, but that could also be some of the reflection off of her shirt too. You got to remember that, you know, whether you're shooting film or digital, colors will 
um, project onto other surfaces, especially when you're dealing with shadows. Um, you know, if you're in a heavily uh, green area, greens will be pronounced and, and shadow areas and, and so forth. So, you know, it's just something to remember. But, I mean, look at, look at where we're at here. We're wide open, bright sunlight, and we still have detail. We still have detail all in the sand here and uh, all in the whites of, uh, you know, the kids' shirts. And the film is just amazing. It has so much latitude. And the grain is beautiful. I mean, I don't find, I mean, this is, we're on a big screen here, but it's not bad at all. But let's move on. Uh, again, this is just a family in front of us, but I just wanted to kind of, you know, show the different details that you can still retain in the sand. All down here underneath the chair, you, you still get the, the detail in the sand. Um, not too bad in the shadows here with reds and whatnot, but, you know, it, it's just so much quality and, and film prints. And these are on touch. These were all scanned from Richard Photo Lab, um, Ektar 100. Uh, if I did anything, I uh, straightened out the, the crop angles or, or the horizons, but but really, that's really it. Um, let's move on. Uh, here she is again, Riley, just uh, being Riley. Um, again, wide open, and I'm still seeing detail in, in the ocean and, you know, right where the uh, the break hits, and you can still see some of the bokeh and and detail in the sand and all throughout the water here. I mean, look at these these foam droplets all through the water here on the lower left. Um, really amazing stuff. And you can see the water cascading off of her skin and just the fine detail. You can see the hair on her arms and, you know, she's got braces now. So she's loving that. It's so funny what she kind of can't eat, but she's getting through it. But you can see all the water and, and still the detail in her eyes. It's just amazing. I was really blown away when I got these back. Um, again, just family, just people on the beach. Uh, one of the, you know, show... We're probably up a little bit more, probably around F8, I believe, on this. But again, look at all the way in the back, the detail of these people all the way in the back, and you can see some of the, the mist coming off the water and just capturing it. This little kid looks like he's taking some steps here. But again, all throughout the water, you can still see what's going on here and, and, and capture all that. It's just really cool stuff. You know, same kind of photo, just a different angle. Um, some of the mist. And, you know, the haze from the summer day, it was really hot out and it was just a really bright day. I wasn't really sure how it was going to handle everything, but it did, did fantastic. I hear uh, McKenna being silly again. But now here you go is a real strong example of how you can start to see some of the reds come through um, in, the, in the shadow with skin tone. I mean, still great detail all throughout her arms and everything like that. But um, this is also she's on a pink towel. And she's got a pink rash guard on. So, you know, you're going to get those reds and pinks that are reflecting off the bottom up to her face. But, you know, look in the background. You know, you can see I was closed down a little bit because you can see the, you know, octagon um, of the aperture blades here. But uh, probably F2, maybe. I don't even know. Maybe just to cut down so I don't overexpose. I shot these all on aperture priority, by the way. Um, exposing for the, uh, the shadows. But uh, aperture priority, um, I, I would meter in the shadows, and then I would usually do an exposure lock and then and recompose. But uh, man, it just handled it amazing. You know, still have that detail. Uh, again, my daughter being silly. Uh, here you go. The shadows were really nice. I mean, I could see the freckles um, and whatnot. Not too red. But again, I don't know if this is playing off the film stock or if it's playing off of her shirt a little bit but accurate and just has that really nice, uh, really nice look to it. Uh, McKenna, again, you can see the detail on the sand, real sharp, you know, really nice. Um, she's in the shadow again, and you can see now the shadow is more even, not so much reflecting off of that pink towel like in the other past pictures. And again, these are just simple family photos, uh, all three girls together. Uh, just a day at the beach, enjoying our last day um, at the beach. We're very fortunate and lucky enough to live right on the water here uh, in LBI. So this is a daily occurrence for us. So last day at the beach wasn't like a, a sad ordeal. Um, this is just the week right before school started and just closing out the summer. Um, but yeah, all three girls here at the beach.
actually, if you go back to that, you can still see some of the cloud detail too, which is awesome. Uh, my wife and my niece and my mother-in-law, uh, again, this is as bright as it gets. And I believe I'm probably close to wide open here. You can see how, um, how much, you know, bokeh there is in the background and, and the depth of field is very thin. I mean, my mother-in-law is out of focus. My wife is right in, um, my niece is pretty close to being in, but, uh, again, just, yeah, I mean, here's the detail. I can still see the horizon line in the water. Uh, you know, it, it's very faint, but it's there. I mean, it's not blown out. I find it, you know, and even on these, uh, this is some of the, the beachfront homes back here off to the right. I can still see a, a faint detail of, you know, that there's something there. I find with film sometimes, film can get blown out very easily and you have to protect your highlights. And it's hard to protect your highlights and not really uh, mess up your shadows. You have to have a really, um, and luckily we have that now with modern cameras, but you have to have a really large, you know, EV scale where, you know, you, dynamic range has to be huge on a camera to, to retain both details in the shadows and the highlights. It can be done, the, you know, the D810s, the 850s, your Sonys, and, you know, the, the new uh, Canon um, Mark series, you know, they're out there. I'm not saying that they're not, but film is film. And you're talking about a camera that was made, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And, but because it's film, the latitude is huge. So you can see it in that picture uh, right here. Just again, just a day at the beach. We're definitely closed down here. Probably F8. Um, all the detail up in the sky, um, these small clouds and, and over here and just, you know, shadows are nice and dark. They're not, you know, not red or blown out. Skin tones are Skin tones are great for with ectar in the summer. I'm sorry, because it kind of shows everybody's sunburn off a little bit, which is which is accurate. And the people that are tan, you can see that they're tan, but the ones that are sunburned, they're red, and it, and it shows it. You can see the red in the rescue buoys here, how it does have a, it's definitely an ectar red. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's more of an orangey red. It's not really like a, a strong, you know, uh, hitting red. This was just um, a silly picture I took indoors of my uh, contacts N1, which I do have a video of along with the uh, the RX and the RTS2. Um, so check that out on my channel. But yeah, this is just the contacts R1. This is on my kitchen table. Um, just a nothing shot here, just messing around. So my daughter indoors at the same table. She was working on her art. She's an amazing artist, um, nine years old. She's definitely uh, following my footsteps with. Uh, her passion for art. So that's really cool. But here we go in the details again. Um, shadows handled it really nice. No problem there. Slouching a little bit in her chair there. But here she is again. Um, you know, nothing crazy. Wide open, no wide open shot. All right, so here we are on that next day where I told you I had to, uh, I had some frames left that I wanted to blow out. Uh, some of these are a little bit out of water, so I apologize. But here we go, wide open, um, really close focus with the 51.4, and this is Ektar. This is Ektar on a nice um, afternoon. Uh, you can see the golden, you know, sun hitting off the uh, the grass here in our backyard. Um, but it handles the tones really nice. Really happy about that shot. And here we are up on the ocean. Um, this is walking up to the beach from the boulevard. I love this. Uh, I love everything about this. This is, this is why I shoot film. Um, I have shot hundreds of shots like this with digital and they look cool and they're nice, but they don't look like film. They never do. Um, just the, the subtle softness and the, you know, the gradation of like the, the tones and the way the film grain and, you know, you're getting this smooth transition, uh, no hard edges on these houses back here off to the left. And the separation is just fantastic. And I, I know that that's the property of the lens more so than the film. Um, actually, I just noticed this here. I do have a, f a scratch in the negative, but hey, whatever, it happens. Um, but yeah, just, just amazing. I, I just love it. And the detail is there. You can see every strand of her hair and you know, she's got herself a lollipop there. Um, but yeah, just amazing. I have a few more of these, so, you know, sorry if they're redundant. Uh, this is part of film too. Uh, a messed up shot. <laughs> I just clicked the button. 
I don't know if it was uh, down near my hand or whatnot, but eh, whatever. It, it's film. You, you, it's not free. It costs money every time you, you make a mistake. So I talk about that in one of my other videos too, but it's just part of going around with it. You got 36 images on, on a 35 millimeter roll, sometimes 24, and this just happens to be one of them. Uh, stop down shot at a beach. Uh, you can see that this is now golden hour. These long shadows are coming in, but the shadows are handled nicely. Um, nice detail up in the sky. Um, let's see a little bird up here, but yeah, I was happy with that. Uh, my daughter again, uh, in that same spot, but this is, uh, sorry, let me uh, get rid of that. I thought I had this on, uh, whatchamacallit. This is my daughter again on that same spot and uh, just that blown out background with the detail and the water and the clouds, you know, just a cool shot. I really like that shot. Uh, just simple beach shot here, not a big deal. This was me trying to shoot her backlit. Um, I don't know what I was doing there. It, it kind of got away from me. I didn't handle the situation correctly. Um, I should have metered more for the shadows and I think I, uh, I don't know if I did a focus recompose uh, with locking, uh, trying to uh, spot meter the uh, shadows and then just messed up the uh, image, but whatever, it's film. I love this shot. It's one of my favorite shots of the whole series. Um, I love how sharp we have the, uh, the water with her feet. And I could see the little hairs on her legs and just the blues and the skin tones and just the, the gradual fading of the water all the way in the back with the golden tones off to the right coming in from the sun, from the horizon, and just the way that the, the water just totally fades out, but there's still detail all the way back. I mean, they're all the way back up into these people off to the right. And just the tones, I mean, you're going from blues and, you know, purples all the way to like golden you know, yellows and oranges and whites. It's just, I, I love that. It's one of my favorites. Um, here was just that same spot where I just kind of stopped down a little bit to get the detail. But again, you're just getting this nice, you know, you get the detail all the way in the foam here uh, of the beach, you know, the water to break coming up and just the detail on the sand and the way that the sand is sparkling and shimmering in the sun. Really cool stuff. Uh, my daughter just jumping around uh, on the beach in that same spot there. Um, but you're getting these golden yellows and tones where, you know, on direct overhead, it was more reds. Um, here we're getting that golden hour and, and it really captures, it captures the accuracy of the day. Um, I, I see that sometimes where people are like, yeah, but that's not what it looked like. Or that's what it looked like in my head, but so I'm going to make it look that way. Um, and you're going to manipulate the image and that's fine. You take your artistic, you know, license to, to make whatever you want out. You know, listen, the world isn't in black and white, but people love black and white images. Um, me being one of them, but when I'm capturing color, I like to capture the accuracy of the moment. I don't like to manipulate the image so far as to making it something that it really wasn't. And this, you know, obviously when you shoot film, that's kind of what you're going to get. You know, every film stock has its different strengths and weaknesses and, and a look to it, you know, Porcher, Fuji, you know, 100, you know, whatever you're dealing with, but um, awesome. Love it. All the greens in the water, which is definitely accurate. I, I just noticed this too, the reflection off of her legs all the way towards the back here. I like that on the bottom. Um, again, that same spot, nothing to really go over again, just a little bit more of a full body shot and, uh, just really cool. I love it. looks awesome all the way down to the back here. These, the golden light and, and obviously the sun comes down from the, the bay area and this is the bay all back here. Actually, it's real low. You can't see it. And then, you know, but here we go. Uh, that's that same one, O'Reilly, a little sharper, um, not as close and obviously capturing everything. But again, I mean, just the detail is amazing. You can see that, you know, she's wet and all through her neck and her skin here and her arms. She's got that shine of being in the water and, you know, the, the shadows are awesome and, you know, she's razor sharp and you still get that nice, and we know she's at the beach. I mean, you can tell the water and 
by looking at this image, you can, you can see the kind of day that it was. You can understand that it was a very bright summer day. I mean, nothing about this leaves you to guess how the day was. You can look at this image and be like, oh, I could totally tell that that was a total, you know, bright summer day. Uh, my daughter, again, just sitting on the towel, having snack like we always do and, and you know, bringing food up. But you can see the, re you really can see the reds now in the shadow here. It's still razor sharp. It still looks good. I don't mind it, but you, you can definitely see these, uh, these reds coming in through here. It's not so bad on our arms are more orange. And that leads me to believe that a lot of this reflection is probably off of her shirt, um, like we were talking about before. Uh, Riley, again, just being Riley, writing her name in the sand. Razor sharp, you know, you can even see a little drip detail right here in her belly. Um, they're great kids, and uh, they're awesome to have uh, in our life and, and always doing fun things. But, um, yeah, you can see the water, the kids in the water here. Really good shot. My daughter, again, I think I had one similar to this on the other one, but just another, you know, image of that. That pink is really reflecting off, but it looks good. I like it. Uh, this is again before that time when we went to the beach in the afternoon. You could see the golden sun was coming down from the right, um, hitting her f face. Uh, the, the shadows are still nice and uh, exposed. I do have a little bit of a flare back here, but, you know, it, it looks good. I love it. I love the fall off of the, the, the grass right here, sharp, falling right off into the back. Um, you know, real nice and golden tones and just, you know, a lot of people say you can't shoot portraits and skin with Ektar, but, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm the one that can prove you wrong because I'm not, you know, um, an authority on anything to do with, you know, film or whatnot, but I know my personal experience. If I get these kind of results, I shoot Ektar all the time. I, I, I like other film stocks better for, por uh, you know, uh, portraits and, and sessions like that, especially weddings. I love to shoot 400H Fuji or, or Portra 400 and, or 800, and I love to shoot black and white, but for fun summer picks during the, you know, to, definitely, Ektar, I love it, I think it's great. Um, love this, I love the way that this is dark blues, you know, uh, you know, uh, teals, and it just fades off into like a purpley gray into the, um, the golds here, and right off the reeds, off the dunes, Captured a little bit of that. I just um, really happy her, her holding her flip flops. Again, it just tells the story of where we were. You can tell that it's late day. You can tell that it's golden hour. You can tell that the beach is secluded here, and it's just us. And it's just you know me and my daughter. Um, we've been through a lot together, and it's just nice to have that time where her and I go up and spend the day on the beach together, and and just talk about stuff. And she's getting older now. She's nine years old, so. It's nice to have these moments with her, and she gets, she she plays the game with the camera. She knows that I have it with me all the time, and she's a good sport about it. Um, this is that same area, just off to the right of her, and I just wanted to capture. I've done this image a few times on on film, and I've done it a few times on digital, and I always like to just have it as a reference photo to see, you know, greens and golden highlights, and just uh, you know the fade and the the bokeh in the background. But there's those soft edges again that you get with the film. You know, again, you're not reading off a sensor. Your your image is, you know, being recorded through glass onto a tangible film. It's not onto a digitized sensor. It's just different, guys. It's just different. It just looks different. Um, you can always see it. Uh, again, this is almost that same spot where it was just her legs before on the beach, but a little further back and obviously a full body. But again, we're getting the reds and the golds. Beautiful fall off on the film here. And uh, just, you know, you can still see the detail. A couple people in the water back here. But I just, I, I can stare at this image and just, I love everything about it. Uh, three girls again, similar image. I believe I just cropped the angle here and, you know, just made it even on the angle uh, for the horizon. But you can still do details in the sky. A little sand on the knees there, um, you know, pools of water. The shadows are still handled nicely. They're not just black. You know, you can still see details and everything. But, yeah, I love that. That's great. And I believe that is it. 
it is so I'm gonna close that down stop that and uh, yeah so thank you guys um, thanks for taking the time to look at this like I said just some family photos I'm gonna try to do more of these if you guys like them uh, if you have any questions on you know shooting film or shooting digital or gear um, I know what I know and uh, I don't know how much that is hopefully I have the answer for you I hope you enjoy these if you do please let me know please comment um, I try to respond to everybody please check out Instagram I always show what I'm shooting with and and you know always give you some examples up there and my Instagram is uh, Joe D'Agostino photo up on Instagram and obviously I have the website and a blog and I'll probably do a blog about Ektar but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, sorry if it was a little long um, but I just wanted to show you some family photos uh, from our last day at the beach with Ektar 100. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Thank you.